the kingmaker or queen maker, Jackie Lambie, sat down with me just a, a little while ago to talk about various things, including the polls, but also this fake website that the Lib Liberals have set up to attack the Lambie network. Would you negotiate with the Liberals even after they dudded you with that website? Um, you know what, I, I will say that if we get candidates in, that is that is that that will be up for them, up to them. Um, those candidates will have to make their own decisions at that table. Sure, I'm, I'm happy to sit there and mentor them, but I've got to stay that step back. I've got to find a very fine line because I need these guys to grow as quickly as possible. So yeah. for me to give me all, all their connections, all my knowledge and pass that on so they can grow quicker, but I've got to find that fine line. But I can tell you now my candidates are like... How can we possibly do this? How can we possibly go in after everything they've done in the filthy games that they've played? Because we base ourselves on transparency and integrity. Just to clarify for our viewers who might not have seen it, basically the Liberal Party in Tasmania set up a, a website copying essentially your name and, and website, the Lambie Network, uh, but it was a fake site. It was yeah. criticising your party. Yep, so what that is, they brought a URL, they chased that around, that was brought in 2015, it's only one of the only ones that, I mean, this is how bad it is in politics, you've got to find every bit of name out there and buy it all, um, so other people don't um, do this sort of thing. Uh, that was then resold, I believe, in 2023, they've chased that up again uh, this year, they've been able to buy that for 10000 uh UK uh, pounds, that's about 20000 Australian dollars. They've used my face, they've set up... Um, they've obviously uh, set up a page uh, and by that they've used my face, my name um, and directed and then sent 7,000 text messages out there from an unknown candidate in the Liberal Party who had no idea, had one of their own, done one of their own, had no idea that they were going to use his phone number to send this out. This is what they're doing to their own people. So you, you according to the various numbers that we've seen in the lead-up to Saturday, you, your network could end up with... A number of seats in the parliament. You, you, your candidates could end up being the the king or the queen maker. But can can you see them getting to support the liberals after this these shenanigans? Yeah, I, I just cannot believe they've played these shenanigans. I have to say, Labor has been a lot smarter. They haven't really gone at the network at all. They've just gone out there and sold their own policies and sold themselves. So it's been really disappointing. I just think sometimes, I just think, is Jeremy Rockcliffe doing this for a reason? Because actually Jeremy Rockcliffe never wanted to be the Premier. We all know that Jeremy Rockcliffe's ready to leave. Um, has he done this on bloody purpose? But more importantly, I think I find it really hurtful because I've known Jeremy for a really long time, um, for many, many years, you know, we went to the same schools, things like that. Are you you're both from, uh, this, from the North from West, West Coast. from Braddon. Yep. Yeah, so for me, it's not so much the politics. I actually find it um, personally hurtful in what he's done because there was no need to... There's no need to use those gutter politics, and Tasmanians are bigger than this. Yeah, well, the, the, one of the big issues, and, and certainly it featured a lot in the leaders' debate yesterday, is the AFL stadium. Yep. Can you clarify, the Lambie Network, is it is it open to the stadium? How do you see the prospect of a stadium versus having the team? Because the team looks like it's already popular, the club. Oh, yeah, the team has always been very popular. We had the Tassie Devils in the VFL, um, unfortunately, um, because of financial reasons. I think it was back in about, ooh, where are we? Uh... 2015-16, yeah. they had to redraw um, from the VFL, which right. was very sad for Tasmanians because that was our thing. We're going to make it into the AFL, do this. It's great. We all want an AFL team down there. Every Tasmanian wants an AFL team down there, um, which is great. But it's the amount of money that they're spending on this stadium and could we have done a better job of this? We've now got Stadium 2.0, the Stadium 3.0. He didn't do his homework. He didn't go out there and be transparent. But you're against... You're against we are this. against the stadium that they want to build right now because we are about prioritising Tasmanian lives first and foremost. We have the worst hospital ramping down there. We don't have, you know, near enough housing. We don't have... Roof over people's heads down there and they want to put a roof over a stadium. It is a slap in the face to Tasmanians and that's what they're feeling. Mate, it's all about priorities and that, that is not a priority. Until we get these other things fixed and our education, a lot of kids, we've reduced. Um, a lot of our kids out there aren't going past year 10, even though four years ago we made it compulsory, you had to go year 11 and 12. That is not happening. Um, so it's really disappointing, but we need... Tasmania's not a big economy. 
you know. So we don't have all those royalties at Western Australia and that does. So we have to be, every cent that we spend, we have to be really mindful. Could we have done this? But we had this great AFL park at your park in Launceston, which is smack bang in the centre for everybody, whether you're from Hobart, whether you're from Smithton, to go and watch football with your kids. OK, they're already spending money up there, which is great. They've got a whole empty field near that. They could put a training ground there. They could build on that. I just I just want to know, I believe there's a better way we could have done this. And just uh, finally, I've got to ask you about the electoral reforms that the federal parliament's looking at. Understandably, off the back of the last week or two for you in Tasmania, truth in advertising is a major priority for you in this. Will the parties agree to it? I think um, that truth in advertising, I am, um, I am seeking legal advice. And if they don't want to change that after what has happened to me, and if they don't find that disturbing, and they don't want to do something about that, and if I get the slightest slip that I could take this all the way, and that I could probably win this, then I'll bloody will do that. Now, I'd rather not have to put my house on the line for this. I'd rather them do the right thing in there and do bring truth back in political advertising. Because right now, that is why we are the least trusted least trusted people in Australia and we're their politicians. If you want trust back from the Australian people, you must do this truth in political advertising. You have no choice. Jackie Lambie, great to chat as always. Thanks. Thanks very much.